Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Adam and you're on the Collector Collective. Thanks so much for joining me here again today. I'm really excited to be continuing on with my focus on Halloween series where today we're going to be bringing you uh, Unicorno After Dark Series 2. We're going to be going through a whole retailer's case and opening each one to see what we get, what they look like and what we think about them. I'm a huge Toki Doki fan, have been for a long time. I've got several Toki Doki videos up on my channel. I've got some more exclusive fun Toki Doki videos to come. Um, but just talking about this package real quickly, these were actually last year's release. So these are impossible to find nowadays. Um, I did get these from Ospop Culture and they may have a few around. Uh, why am I doing a video for something that was released last year? Well, because uh, unfortunately down in the Southern Hemisphere, getting Toki Doki products can take a little bit longer than other places. These came through quite late last year, so it was too late to make a video. I was hoping to do a side-by-side -side with this year's After Dark and last year's, but um, Series 3 as well, in true style, as I just said, are taking a little bit longer than we had hoped down here. So. We're just going to go through these, see which ones we get, see what we think about them, and then pop up a bunch of posts on social media. So if you like what you've been seeing here on the Collector Collective, always remember to hit like and subscribe, leave a comment. I'm always happy to follow up on those. I was told in one of my most recent comments that I talk too long and it makes my videos boring. So I am trying to make them as short as possible, but sometimes when it comes to unboxing stuff, it can take a little while. But with all that being said, I think I've yammered on enough. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so there we have it. So that's the uh, top of the box, which of course is a retailer's display case. It shows all the new uh, uh, unicorns that you can get from this series of After Dark. And then a few other really cute um, Toki Doki style artworks. Uh, you know, you've got some cupcakes. Even got a nod to a little piranha plant here, which you know makes me gives me Mario vibes. But you know that's what the top looks like. The side is just a continuation on of the After Dark Unicornos. You can see all of them there. We've also got some other uh, Toki Doki license, well uh, properties, which is of course Donatella and her friends in Halloween gear. Cactus friends here, who they've been kind of few and far between. And then some more of that repeated artwork uh, here. Just a few of the new After Dark Unicornos. And um, on the other side, it is a different selection to um, the previous side of the rest of the crew. So that's the Cactus Friends, Little Milk Kitty. And um, yeah, that's it. Having a look here, it shows you every one that you can possibly Yep, so there's eight in a set. I believe there's eight in this uh, retailer's case. So with any luck, I'm gonna pull the chaser, but we've got Yoka, Nilo, Mixilla, Vicky, Manila, Thrillo, Spooks, and Party Popper. So Party Popper's a chaser. Let's see what's in here. Now, they always kind of bring the drum when you're opening these boxes. Let me set it up how you might see it in store if you're lucky enough to find them. Just, Take these out of the way. One and two. 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 Oh, a little bit left there. Yeah. Not that much of a perfectionist, but there we have it. So that is uh, all eight unboxed. Um, now the box is really just a continuation of what you get in the main image there. You've also got your. Uh, uh, obviously your uh, checklist on the side, a couple of close-ups, and then the Unicorn Her Story, which we're all familiar with, they were just simple ponies, and ran through a magical waterfall when they were, um, and which turned them into Unicornos. Um, and I've read through that whole thing in the past, so I'm not doing it again. Here we go. So, box number one. And so, as always, you get your figure get your uh, actual manual checklist or little paper checklist. Move that to the side. A couple of finding these group guides. This one, first go. So, oh, fantastic. So we've got Vicky to start with. 
So I'd say that she's called Vicky because she is um, based on a Victorian style ghost. Uh, looks as though you could make a lot of stories up about this at first glance, but let's just check out the final detail. Uh, her tail is completely different to any regular unicorn tail. Uh, she's got this cute little bow with skull detailing, skull earrings that's repeated on both sides. Uh, cute little uh, frilled dress, so, and then she's wearing a veil. She's got pearl detailing on that veil, so I'm guessing that she is meant to be a, a bride. Um, I'm getting great expectations, vibes out of her. I do think uh, she's really fantastic, translucent with a little ghost figure in her head, a tiny little ghost uh, murmur corner um, right in there. So we're just going to put her standing up by the side. I'm sort of experimenting with the new uh, video stylings with the overhead cam. Um, and here we go. Box number two. Let's just get through these as quickly as we possibly can. As well, I don't want any more comments saying that I'm boring and talk too long. But if you think I am boring and talk too long, leave a comment. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So this was one I was most excited about. So uh, this is Thrillo. Thrillo is, I guess, a bit of a name after Thriller by Michael Jackson. Uh, he obviously re uh, references several horror movies, um, you know, straight off the bat. Uh, now the stripes down the side, they're reminiscent of Freddy Krueger, slashes on his outfit, or, you know, if it's Freddy Krueger, it's a jumper. Freddy Krueger's jumper was actually green and red, not red and black, but um, you know, it is just a reference point. I don't think it's meant to be completely literal, but we know what they're saying here. Then we've got the hockey mask that uh, Jason famously wears on Friday the 13th. Severed eyeball, which I love that little gruesome detail. I don't know that that's uh, referencing anything. There's many, many movies where an eyeball will come out. He's got Hannibal Lecter's mask going on so that's a nod to that and then on top this well very cabbage patch looking reference to um of course chucky from the child's play and chucky series uh, a little band-aid with some blood coming out of it on the other side of through those face here absolutely fantastic uh, one of my favorite from the After Dark series that I've seen. We do have some older After Dark ones. I actually have a closer look at just after this and talk about the design journey uh, from series one, they would be. But there was a Halloween series. So this is technically the third horror themed series, but the first Halloween series is impossible to find. And so here we go, uh, Rip Guide. Ah, lovely. So we've got Munella, who is clearly witch themed. I wonder if these glow in the dark. The last one I thought glowed in the dark actually didn't, um, but very super Halloween y. So she's translucent, you can see right through her, nothing inside her head. Uh, obviously, the colors of Halloween with uh, you know, kind of a pinky, uh, orange, orange, green, a uh, cat on the side of her. Uh, that robes or a dress, uh, obviously a witch's hat, pumpkin on the end, and this little bat face has tiny little pointed ears. I'm kind of getting kitty vibes, but I guess it's supposed to be a correct bat. Of course, Brunet, a closer version of the cat and more stars on this side, and uh, that's where her broom is connected to. Uh, screening on each side of the face is the same, a little bat wing popping out of her eyes and three stars and a moon, same here. And then all translucent. She does have some extra detail and paintwork on her wings, which I uh, think is fit, uh, just fantastic. All right. So, and enjoy the aerial view of these guys. So, because trying to edit these videos across three different cameras is too much for someone who has other things to do as well. 
Rip. Ah, fantastic. So we've got a clear reference to George, which uh, Jaws with the maxilla going on here. Uh, obviously, if you hold that kind of the right way around, it's very reminiscent of the cover of the original Jaws poster. Um, really uh, went all out with the shark uh, tail. So I guess this is more your Myrmacorno. There have been a previous shark, a uh, couple of sharks through the Myrmacorno range. Um, but Maxilla is obviously about the potential terrors in the water. So, uh, and this happy little swimming figure who is being chased through the waters of Maxilla is where he has a really happy face <laughs> and a cute little pink two piece, like the detail inside. Um, these additional figures that they put together on these is just great. Again, um, I'm loving these. These are going to come out every Halloween. Um, and if you can find Series 2 anywhere, go and grab it. If you can get a case like I was lucky enough to get last year, uh, get it. Let's see what you get. Okay. So this one feels a bit weighty. So I'm going to get. Oh, no. So I've got a double. Now my, uh, so I've got two Vickies, so my chances of getting an, a party popper have decreased. Here we go. Now. Ah, okay, so I've got Spooks, which is haunted house themed and just fantastic. So first thing, it's a, a you know, done in house style with, you know, brick artwork on the side it says keep out on um, a, on spook's wing it's a little bat hanging upside down with more rounded ears than the one on uh, uh, Manila's hat so maybe the one on Manila's hat is meant to be cat themed well a cat face with bat wing detailing um, but that bat is so cute if you look at that and a little moon corner no uh, unicorn ghost there uh, ghost, kitty, ghost, no McCormack ghost, fantastic. And the screening on the other side is uh, quite a bit different. Uh, we get window with a cobweb on her eye. The little ghost is there, but uh, differently orientated. Another, well, the Mermacorno, unicorn ghost. And this little ghost guy is bursting out of this window. Then we got some more bats and a bit of blood through all potentially red paint. Unless the keep out was originally written in blood, which you know goes with the thing. So that that spooks. Fantastic. Alright. Second last. I wonder if we have any luck. So we have cat. Uh, oh okay. Wow. This brings on the drama. So, oh, okay, so some of these little characters on uh, the side straight away are um, uh, are repeated on the outer packaging there. Uh, now, this is uh, obviously very Japanese um, demon inspired, like mad Japanese believe in ghosts and demons, of course, uh, anything. Japanese ghost and demon is either a manga or an anime, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. Let's see how many tails she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tails. Um, and the three characters, I wouldn't know who they were specifically, but I'm sure they're referencing something from Japanese cultures. Simon, uh, Simon Legno, who uh, creates and designs everything Tokidoki, is massively influenced by the Japanese culture. Tokidoki means sometimes in Japanese. Additional eye there, another one-eyed monster, little uh, snake demon lady, and a um, parasol for some reason. I suppose, you know, parasols are popular in Japan. And we got this little unicorn with a stretched out neck. But I love the fantastic hair detailing, like they've gone all out with the 
uh, traditional 18th century Japanese hairstyling. And on her necklace is a little traditional kind of devil's head. Uh, well, a lot of what I'm seeing here I recognize from Japanese mythos. I just wouldn't be able to say which one is which or where they're from. And lastly, let's empty this box. Go. Yeah. And I can't get lucky here. Oh, okay. So at least I got another one. So this is Nilo, obviously the mum themed. Well, really just Egyptian themed. I think this could have probably been fit into any uh, unicorno set. You know, it didn't have to be for the Halloween one. I mean, unless it's wrapped up as a mummy. It's really just designed in the traditional uh, Egyptian styling, especially for a sarcophagus or a pharaoh. Um, but again, you know, wow. Oh. oh no, okay. There's a surprise I wasn't expecting. So, um, might as well spoil it now. Ah, all right. And my request has been granted. I got a little uh, mummified unicorn inside. Now this is fantastic. So that was, that was something, because I, I haven't watched any other videos, or seen any pictures, but finding this little treasure inside was just great. Um, this uh, mummified unicorn has a big smile on its face. It's translucent green. Um, but the wrapping is sensational. There's a little wrap detail for wings, ears, horn, and there's even some curves in the wrapping on its tail. It's in a horse lying down position, so it perfectly fits in its sarcophagus. So I'll put that to the side. We'll clip this back together. And obviously you've got the uh, snake there, the um, detailing around the eyes for, you know, that Egyptian cat eye look. Little earring dots, I mean, they usually put earrings, like, I mean, Vicky got her own set of earrings. They could have gone out with that, but it does have little um, cuffs on all four hooves, uh, and then the beard, of course, the blue and gold down the side, and then glyphs and Egyptian pattern work on each side and yeah those are different glyphs on each one so there you have it now i'm just blown away by this like these uh really small details like i have never seen this i don't know why this hasn't been done more often across toki doki's range i mean this fits perfectly for uh Moomba Corner it makes it a bit more involved, I mean, uh, or Unicorn, I mean, it makes it a bit more involved. Because they've always got those things inside the translucent heads, it'd be fun to be able to open them up more often. But obviously, if that's been done for this particular piece of art, I would say potentially, you know, it makes play more fun, but on every box. This is not a toy, this is collectible art. So there you have it. Okay, so here they all are lined up on their package in front of many other Tokidoki properties as well as many other Halloween Bose properties. But just to point out, we've got here Little Tomb from Series uh, 1. Then we have here Lobo and he's actually flocked. He's a werewolf um, themed. Uh, Little Tomb is obviously gravestone themed and then Draculino, pretty self-explanatory. But that's it. Uh, that's everything. So thanks so much for sticking to the end. If you do like what you've seen, remember to hit like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on any comments down below. Uh, check out our full channel for a full Halloween playlist for many Halloween collectibles. Um, but for now, that should get everything there sorted. Thanks so much for joining me here again today. Until next time, keep collecting. Bye.